people are whispering this lengthy absence from work it's rather odd for abdominal surgery what's actually going on all of a sudden everyone is interested in how long it takes to recover from abdominal surgery unless you've been visiting outer space recently you will know that a popular member of the royal family has kept the news waves busy <laughs> with her recent health issues in this video we will examine some aspects of abdominal surgery and what you can expect regarding recovery time and some complications Hi there, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a consultant in general practice based here in the United Kingdom. Welcome to Ask Away Health. According to NHS Digital, over 5.8 million abdominal operations and procedures were recorded in England between April 2021 and March 2022. And the American College of Surgeons informs us that around 4 million abdominal operations are performed in the United States every year. These are huge numbers. So of course we have a valid reason for being interested in recovering from abdominal surgery. <laughs> so yes, Catherine, Princess of Wales and future Queen of England, aged 42 years and the mother of three young children, has been off work and off our screens for nearly two months by the time this video is published. And more specifically, this is since she had planned abdominal surgery around the 17th of January 2024 in a health facility here in the United Kingdom. There's really no news about Kate's medical background in the public domain apart from the fact that we know she's had three children and to all intents and purposes she's appeared as a fit and healthy woman for her age. In my opinion the princess has a right to keep her health information private but as a public figure there is debate over how much privacy she and indeed other members of the royal family are actually entitled to. But what is more relevant, I feel, <laughs> is you and what to expect if you are about to have abdominal surgery or just wondering or curious about this topic. Of course, you or I will probably not have the type of global interest Kate's surgery has engendered, but nevertheless, Many people have wondered, people are whispering, this lengthy absence from work, it's rather odd for abdominal surgery, what's actually going on? Surely she can't be off sick for three months after abdominal surgery and so on. So we're not going to speculate on what health problems the Princess of Wales has or hasn't what good is that going to do? But let's talk about abdominal surgery. Of course, it's an umbrella term for any type of surgery involving the abdomen. In other words, several organs and tissues could be involved from the liver to the gallbladder to the stomach and bowels and many, many more. Having abdominal surgery may include access to the abdomen in order to examine, explore, repair or remove diseased organs. Abdominal surgery could also extend to pelvic organs, which you can reach via the abdomen, such as the womb or the ovaries and the bladder and so on. There are different types of abdominal surgery and the type of surgery you have may depend on the reason that you are having surgery. But broadly, when it comes to abdominal surgery, you could have a laparotomy or a laparoscopy. A laparotomy is a form of open abdominal surgery where a large cut is made through the abdominal wall to access the abdominal cavity or the organs in the abdominal cavity. Usually it's performed for more extensive surgeries or when we need direct access to the organs in the abdomen. This approach will allow the surgeons to see the organs in the body and they can perform various procedures like resecting the bowel, removing cancer or organ transplant. On the other hand, a laparoscopy is a surgical procedure that is performed through small cuts in the abdomen using special instruments and a special type of camera called a laparoscope. It's also known as minimally invasive or keyhole surgery. And so if you're having a laparoscopy, the laparoscope, which is the long 
open tube with the high, resolu uh, high resolution camera attached at the end is usually inserted into the abdominal cavity through a small cut around the belly button. And so the surgeons are able to see the abdominal organs but through a monitor in the operating room. They may need to make extra small cuts around the abdomen to eat and put in any more specialized instruments and perform the procedure. So you can already see there are clear differences between these two procedures, even though both are abdominal surgeries. But I'm not going to bore you with all the details of the differences. Let's just dive into what we're interested in, which is recovery time after surgery. If compared to laparoscopic surgery, a laparotomy, that is when the abdominal wall itself is cut and opened, generally involves longer recovery time and may have a higher risk of complications. So going back to all these questions that we're busy wondering about, after a planned abdominal surgery, so it's not an emergency where there was an urgent need to operate because you wanted to save life or you know whatever indication which carries its own risks what is the usual recovery rate well if you guessed or if you think that that answer could depend on quite a few different things you're absolutely correct it could depend on your age and level of fitness before surgery other factors are the condition or the reason for having the surgery in the first place. So think about emergency surgery, for example, a, an inflamed appendix or a burst hernia versus planned surgery for a hysterectomy or gallbladder surgery. The possibility and the type of complications that could develop after surgery is another consideration that determines recovery period afterwards. And then Think about this, treatment for that condition may not just be about surgery. The operation may just be one aspect of the treatment. You might need other treatments at the same time. For example, drug treatments, or perhaps there might need to be chemotherapy or radiotherapy and so on. All these could factor into an individual's recovery time. So we might be able to give estimates, but it's difficult to be specific because it depends on so many different factors. So what are the possible complications of the two types of surgery we mentioned earlier? First, a laparotomy. There could be infection at the site of the cut. There's a possibility of developing what's called an incisional hernia. And this is developing a hernia around the part of the abdomen where the cut was made. There is the possibility of adhesions, those are internal scar tissues forming. You could develop a blocked or obstructed bowel. There could be excessive bleeding or damage to surrounding organs during the procedure. And what about laparoscopy? It also has its complications even though it is minimally invasive surgery. One of them is something known as a pneumothorax. This is if the sheet of muscle that separates the chest cavity from the abdomen is accidentally punctured. It can lead to breathing problems and can be potentially life-threatening. There may be infection that develops around some of those little cuts that you perform during the laparoscopy. There might be bleeding from blood vessels if they are damaged during surgery while the surgeon is trying to introduce the instruments working with the monitor in the operating room. And of course, there could be injury to other organs or tissues around the area where the operation is being performed. Okay, so let's look at what to expect after abdominal surgery and how soon is normal to recover. And let's take a few examples, a planned caesarean section. If there are no complications to mom and baby, most women will spend two to three days in hospital and then recovery at home may take between six to eight weeks. Realistically, <laughs> many of us are still recovering at three months or 12 weeks after surgery. Many not really expected to return fully back to work depending on the type of work that we're doing and of course looking after the baby. But let's look at another example. For instance, a total abdominal hysterectomy. This is different from having a vaginal hysterectomy. With a total abdominal hysterectomy, there is a cut into the abdominal cavity through which the womb and other tissues are removed. After this surgery, most women can leave the hospital by the second, maybe the fourth day. Recovery again at home can take up to six weeks at the minimum for many women. It is by this time, around six weeks, that most women can resume usual activities, exercise, driving, having sex, even going back to work, if they feel well enough to, depending on the kind of job that they have, 
sometimes there might be a phased return to work and other circumstances but it depends on your pace of recovery for some jobs that are not physically strenuous a woman may be able to return to work maybe after four or five weeks from surgery but in most busy jobs where you might be involved in presenting meeting people standing or being on your feet for a number of hours looking after children many women may need longer up to eight weeks or more on average and don't forget that even without any complications there may be tiredness as your body recovers there may be pain around the operation site there may be trouble with the bowels just being a bit sluggish after surgery and other issues that may affect the recovery process my last example for this video is after having bowel resection surgery this surgery just briefly involves removing part of the bowel and connecting the remaining ends together it may be necessary for certain conditions but commonly inflammatory bowel diseases such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease or bowel cancer. People going through the surgery may need to have a stoma or pouch which performs part of the function of the bowel and this may be a temporary or permanent condition. Hospital stay for bowel resection surgery again varies but it could be over a week up to 10 days after surgery. Recovery while still in hospital may be associated with bleeding problems, getting the bowels to function after surgery and establishing a diet that is appropriate after getting home it could still take weeks and months to get used to these changes and possibly we will be looking at 8 to 12 weeks to resume normal or usual function for an independent individual who has a full-time job as you can see the time to recover varies so there really shouldn't be any puzzling over why Kate has to take three months off. It depends on several factors, many of which we don't know. The most important thing is to wish her well and hope she recovers back to herself very soon. So I know there are several other questions people have about recovery after abdominal surgery, so let's tackle a few of them here. Number one, when can I play sport after open abdominal surgery? By four to six weeks after most abdominal surgery without any complications, you should be able to resume exercising. We encourage people to start moving around as soon as they feel well able to. And by four weeks, you should be doing small bursts of activity to pace yourself and help determine your fitness level. Number two, what kind of abdominal surgery takes 10 to 14 days to recover well it varies and as we've seen depends on different factors the individual's fitness levels diagnosis and if there were any complications during surgery or after most laparoscopies take a few days to remain in hospital after the procedure and two to four weeks to recover at home some people might do so early others might do so a bit later most laparotomies may take a few days longer and usually six to eight weeks to recover at home three what to do about abdominal pain after surgery initially it is best if you have regular pain relief which can vary from opiate drugs to non-opiate drugs and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicine these are usually tailed off as your wound heals but there are also non-drug options like heat therapy positioning moving around as soon as possible relaxation techniques and some physical therapy to help with post-surgery pain and next how long does bloating stay after abdominal surgery well bloating after abdominal surgery can be an issue it may be due to handling of the bowels during the operation and it may be difficult to avoid it altogether so after surgery the bowels may slow down for some time this can lead to trapped air or wind you might feel pain or discomfort and bloated as a result for most people this may take two to three days before it generally begins to improve. Getting out of bed soon after your surgery, if you feel well enough, and moving around will help this recovery, as well as taking peppermint tea or peppermint water or mint. Once you start eating and drinking after surgery, 
your regular bowel activity should resume and so it should get easier with time specifically if you've had abdominal surgery and it's the bowels in particular that have been operated on for example with a bowel resection your team will advise you about specific changes to your bowel function and any diet that is appropriate for you during that initial period recovering from abdominal surgery has no fixed answer it varies hopefully after watching this video you have some idea of what to expect what you can do after surgery and how soon you can do it let me know your thoughts in the comment section in this next video here i go into a bit more detail about recovering after a cesarean section so please check it out if you're interested don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you again real soon